Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a fun technique with blendability, um, vellum paper, and the basic butterfly tinlets. This card, it's a class in the mail. You can visit my blog at frenchiestamps.com and you get the information for the class in the mail. Uh, the month of January, my class, I call it the mega uh, class because it's three stamp sets, so I could put that uh, celebration stamp set in it. So it is a big one, and this is one of it. Uh, you can see all the beautiful color. Well, this is a piece of vellum in the back. So I'm going to show you how I done this, but we're going to switch the color just because I don't like to do the same thing twice. I did a video last week or the week before. I'm not sure when this is going to be uh, live on how to use the tin leads and to make it easy. Well, I'm using um, draw your sheet and I like to use two layers and you can see I use the same one over and over till I see they don't work anymore. So a box of um, those uh, dryer sheet gonna last you a long time. This is just a dollar store one. I put two layers, you can try two, three layers like I said in the other um, one. It depends on your big shot. I'm gonna use just, I got a res oh, another one here. And you see if that happen, you just, those little thing, you can wipe them or leave it right there. I'm going to use three layers without no wax paper. Remember my first video, it was with wax paper, but I put the wax paper in the wrong place. Uh, no, I better put it this way. So this time, no wax paper, and you're going to see it work perfect. So again, depends on your... Um, like mine been used quite a few times so that's why i decide to put three layers but usually mine two layers been working very good so let's see if this is uh, see now the only thing i got one and it's not even one it was a rich raspberry it fell off so see the tin lets it perfectly fine nothing stick to it let's remove the big shot because i'm done with the big shot and I'm going to bring you down. So I'm going to bring you for a little ride here. Let me. Here we go. So now I will take this and peel this up. So I could use this here to trace it on my vellum. I don't like to trace, so I'm going to show you a different way. If you like to trace, you can do that. Just take this here and look. It should take pretty much, it's that, I don't know, that stuff on that um, dryer sheet that make it work perfectly. And then I just got a few that I just have to, uh, I don't even use a poker. I just use my hand and see it is perfect. Voila. So no wax paper this time. I used three sheet of um, dryer sheet and they were not new. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of butterfly and they work perfect. Now let's bring our vellum. This is a piece of cardstock vellum and I like to use glue dots. And we're going to put a few glue dots. I'm going to put one there and I try to put it where... And you see it leaves kind of a residue in the back of the your butterfly. That is the <clears throat> dryer sheet. So make sure you're... Uh... Okay, that's about the only place I can put the... What it's called? The sticky there. But I'm going to use the glue dots. I'm going to take some of the Tombow glue. Put it there. It's just so it's a little bit more secure. I would add a place, another place here to put a glue dot. It's just to make it a little bit more secure. That's it. Now we're going to take this. You don't want to glue it all the way neater. You're going to see why. I'm going to take this. Because even if it peel up like this, it's okay. I'm going to put more after if we need more after. Okay, now take your scissors, your snip. 
I'm just going to cut the extra here. And then I'm going to go right on the side. See, I don't even really follow because it won't show. The back won't show. And that's why when you trace, sometimes you go too much on the outside and you have to come back. So for me, this is much easier. And this here, I just going to cut it there because I don't need those wings. Nothing show. It's just where you get the window you want it to keep the vellum. Make sure you don't cut the cardstock, just the vellum. It looked like it take a while, but trust me, it don't take long at all to cut that. I think I waste more time. I try with the tracing and I had to come back. It was not cut enough or then I was coming back. So this worked perfect. If you want to use a piece of cardstock in the back and color, uh, you can do the same thing. Look, I just peel it up here. Voila. We're almost done and then we're going to color. And the coloring on this, it is super quick. And I mean super quick. Because we're going to color the reverse of it, the back of it, so you don't have to be careful. Okay, just the top. See, I go sideways. My scissors go sideways, so it go under. Oh, I see one place I went too deep, though. You don't want to go too happy with your scissors. Okay, right here, you see I get a little bit. I think I'm going to try to fix that. Here we go. Okay, now you're going to take the blendability. The one that I did for the class, I use um, Coastal Cabana and Daffodil Delight. Now I'm going to use Daffodil Delight and uh, Calypso Corral. So I'm going to start with the medium. And I'm going to do right here the inside and the yellow. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to use the medium one in Calypso. I don't know how this is going to look. So we're going to turn it around and see if I want darker. So let's do this part. And it's better if I look at it on a white. Uh, you know what? I think we can go darker. So let's go with the darker Calypso. So if you're not sure on the color, start with lighter and then come back with the darker. And I see this marker at better days. No, I'm going to have to stay with my medium. I don't think I get another. I'm going to have to order a new set of my Calypso. I use them a lot, so it's normal. It's not made to last years and years. The more you use it, well... It's just like anything else. If you use it, you're going to have to replace it, right? Maybe I'm going to come back with yellow on top on here. Let's see how this look. Now I'm going to use this to the side. See, that's what it's nice when you use the, the back of it. You don't have to be careful at all. You just go, oops. That was, you just go happy with it. And like I said, I didn't pay attention too much when I uh, cut. I could have been a little bit more careful. Okay, let's turn that around. Voila, see how pretty it is. So I could go back in and color again to add a little bit darker 
and why I like the blendability over markers that's many ask me that markers want to smear on vellum and it takes longer to dry so if I if this would be markers and I would go like this I would have all my imprint there it take quite a bit longer to dry but see how this is pretty very very simple this is it my friends so now I would just do my card and voila how cool is that so hope you learned something new oops oh this is from the back of this or I don't know where I get that blue because I don't have no blue here so this is it my friend how to do the butterfly with the vellum hope you learned something new till next time happy stamping my friend and by the way again for class in the mail or any stamping up product you can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com thank you so much for your support till next time happy stamping